Well, let me just say this. <laughs> Incidentally, that you're not allowed to ask two questions in a row. Um, All right, I'll save it for my next one, then. Uh, you're acting like a reporter, for God's sake. <laughs> and that's not a compliment. Uh, well, that was the thing about the Trump administration that was, <laughs> that was so shocking, is that, that they just, I mean, I, it, was, it was in February of, of 2017, so it was literally less than a month after Trump took office that he tweeted out that, that and he's talked about specific news organizations. He didn't say the media, but he, but he said the New York Times, the Washington Post, CBS, NBC, CNN, you know, basically all of the leading news organizations in America uh, were the enemy of the people. And it, it, I, I found that so distressing. I, you know, I don't have any problem, as I say. I've been chewed out by uh, politicians and politicians' press secretaries and stuff. And, you know, we're big boys. We throw hard balls. They throw hard balls. That's fine. It's the game. But to characterize the media as the enemy of the people, it's interesting. I, I've got to be close friends with a fellow named William McRaven, he and it was an admiral, he was a, a Navy SEAL for 37 years. He was the head of the Joint Special Operations Command, and he was the man who led the operations, oversaw the operations to capture uh, Saddam Hussein and to kill uh, Osama bin Laden. I mean, if, if, if you look at the word dictionary, uh, it, the word patriot in the dictionary, you'd see a picture of Bill McRaven there. Interestingly enough, he became the chancellor at the University of Texas. He had taken, talk about somebody who had, you know, was on the wrong path before he became a SEAL. He was a journalism major at the University of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, fortunately, he became a defender of America. But he was teaching a class the day after that came out. And he said, that in all of his years as a Navy SEAL, all of his years opposing Saddam Hussein and uh, Osama bin Laden and you know, real threats, he said that that comment by Donald Trump was the biggest threat to democracy in his lifetime. And I think that's right. And, and you know, so, I, so much of what went on in that administration I was troubled by, but the attempt to demonize the media, and it was done for a very cynical reason. The reason it was done is, if you, if you can demonize the media, you're able to, in effect, try to discount and devalue them when they criticize you. Well, you know, who cares what they think because they're our enemy. Um, so it was a really deeply cynical thing and, uh, and very troubling.